Welcome back savages to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to fit a solar panel to a plastic shed roof. So one of the dangers of fitting a semi-flexible solar panel on a plastic roof is that it can get very hot in blazing sunshine. So what you need to do is to have some kind of protection between the solar panel and the roof just to let off some of the air and keep it cool. So for that I'm going to be using some what's called twin wall. So this is 6mm twin wall and I've basically cut it out so it's the exact measurements of the panel I'm going to be fitting. The next thing we're going to do is for this twin wall we're going to cut out the holes on each corner that come with the panel so they come through there. So not only will it be protecting our solar panel it's going to act as a template for when we drill the holes on the roof. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, next thing to do is line it up on your shed roof and basically drill the holes. So this is what we're going to use to secure the um, solar panel. So what I've got is bolts instead of screws. Now where the solar panel is going to be, it's quite windy. So what I want to do is be able to secure the solar panel through the inside of the, uh, the shed itself. So what I'm going to use is bolts. On the top I've used roofing washers, so I'm going to have a roofing washer on the top of the hole of the solar panel. Then I'm going to have another washer between the, uh, the roof of the shed and the solar panel bottom so nothing leaks through because obviously you don't want rainwater leaking into your shed. And then on the inside of the shed I'm going to have a great big washer to keep the uh, solar panel secured and then I've got a nylon washer nut at the bottom uh, which should help secure it as well. So that's going to be the setup. I'm going to do it on all six um, holes in the panel. Uh, the other thing we're going to do just as a precaution as well, so around where the holes are I'm going to be using some of this gorilla sealant and that should stop any rainwater coming through to the shed as well. Let's go and give it a try. Okay so there we go we've got the um, silicon sealant around the hole and then we're basically going to push the smaller roof washer just there on the top. It's on all six points there so that should keep the rain out. Okay so that's what it looks like with the uh, panel installed. The balls coming through there with the washer right there. So from the inside of the shed we've got the plastic structure here so that's the bolt coming through. Extra thick washer on the inside and then a nylon bolt just to hold it in place. So basically if it does get windy these things are going to stop the solar panel flying off anywhere. So that's what it looks like on the roof, the finished product. Nice and clean pretty flat, hopefully the wind won't take it off. So in terms of the wiring, what I've done is I've brought the wire through the side of the shed and I've tried to make it a nice clean install and basically bringing it through these plastic joints here and then I'm just going to pull it through. So it just travels all the way down there, comes out the corner. So what we're going to do is just bring it along here and straight to the charge controller. So just a quick word on solar controllers, um, there's normally two types, there's the PWM which is pulse wave modulation which is this, this one here, pretty cheap and reasonably effective if you've just got one battery to charge with one single solar panel but they're not very effective if you've got heavy loads and you want to get the best out of your battery. And the other type of solar controller you can get is these MPPT ones which is if you've got a heavy load that you regularly drain the battery um, it's probably best to get one of these because they basically maximise the amount of input from your solar panels and get the best ampage and wattage out of them uh, for charging your battery. So I've just hooked up the one I've got right now and as you can see it's getting uh, 15 volts from the solar panel. I've got a 12 volt battery so I've already got plenty of voltage there. It's producing 3 amps and I'm getting 45 watts which is not bad at all. So I've got two of these solar panels on the roof, so once I've got them connected together I should be getting close to about 100 watts when it's sunny outside. So we've got both solar panels connected up to the charge controller and we're getting close to 6 amps and almost 90 watts of power. So that should keep the battery well and truly topped up. Now the reason I've done all this is because I've got an upcoming video to do with solar crypto mining and I'm hoping to use this kit to be able to help with that, so stay tuned. Hope you like this video, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you on the next one.